Hey everyone, this is Irina. I'm bringing you this week's supply chain, um, and really just picking up from where we left off last week, which um, we you know we touched on some of the ongoing challenges of bringing on inventory and making sure that all of the goods um, end up on shelves and you know are offloaded from factories and some of the container ships that are hanging out in a variety of ports at this time, um, and actually getting those on shelves and into people's hands prior to the holiday season. Um, and so you know, obviously, this is just a result of um, a lot of different things and disruptions within global supply chains. And the fact that we have a lot of manufacturing happening on one side and a lot of the consumption um, happening in a completely different side of the world. Um, and, and, and that missing middle um, right now is very dependent on freight um, and there's a lot of different areas of freight obviously there's ocean transportation air freight there's railroads there's trucking all of which are very much backed up and so all of these disruptions are actually causing you know significant impacts to bottom and top line expectations for this year um, as well as just the general price of goods to consumers and so um, from a recent survey we found that about 44 percent of cfos that have been asked have noticed that prices over the course of the last year have gone up at least five percent and so obviously some of those um, costs are being passed on to consumers as well we also know that because of these disruptions uh, plans for future supply chains at least from a cfo perspective perspective um, are that they are going to become much more diversified within the next three years. A lot of the sourcing being planned to be reestablished within the North America markets rather than Southeast Asia. Again, freight plays a huge role in a lot of the disruptions that we're noticing right now. But in addition to that, we see a lot of concern in Q4 for labor shortages um, to get products packed and sold and to really be able to churn over supply chains, you need labor. Um, and so we're going to continue to see impacts and shortfalls, disruptions and shortages and delays in delivering product because of these two you know, very important issues in terms of freight and labor. And the freight obviously just being spread so much across the entire supply chain is going to continue to impact um, the delivery of goods. So the question I want to pose to this um, group is, what are we going to do if the demand actually falls off before we are able to bring in the goods into the country? Inventories are now you know, sitting either at factories, there's open purchase orders, they're certainly sitting out um, in, you know, in a variety of locations in transportation. Um, so I'm interested to know what you guys are planning and how you're looking to mitigate that risk um, of over inventorying because we're trying to catch up right now. Um, so until next time, and I'll look forward to your comments. Thanks everyone, bye.